We, who are a part of the Ripple's gallery in Kolkata, feel that we are very lucky as the gallery gives us an opportunity, us as an aquarium hobbyists, enthusiasts, you know, people who are very passionate about fish keeping, to observe a lot of fish, plants, aquatic plants in the many aquascapes and biotopes that are there in Ripple's. In our channel, these observations are brought to you under the playlist named Nature Bites. In this edition of Nature Bites, we are going to talk on certain behavior of aquatic plants and a few tips on how you can use them to get the best out or get their best looks and beauty. We have used Rotala rotundofolia pink, a very popular stem plant in this 4 feet by 2 feet height aquascape in Ripples. This aquascape is powered by two ADA solar RGB lights because we needed that penetration, the light penetration, right? What we observed after some time and to our amazement, most of us know that uh, Rotala rotundofolia pink is actually a background plant because it grows tall. Yes, it grew tall in this aquarium also. But then, to our surprise, we were you know, astonished to see one day that in the left side of the aquarium, okay, the rotundofolia is actually creeping on the ground. Okay, This is testimony of the fact that depending upon the condition, the light strength, a normal stem plant which grows tall in the back even doesn't mind crawling on the ground. So the behavior of aquatic plant definitely depends on what kind of parameters that you are giving. Okay, so this was an observation, uh, quite a revealing observation for us and we thought let's bring it to you. Rotala Makaranda Bangladesh on the top is shading the Ladwiga Arquata on the bottom. Now the portion of the Ladwiga Arquata which is getting light is showing its red color. Okay? But at the back you can see that where the light is not growing, so the Ladwiga Arquata is changing its coloration from red to green. Okay? So it is a pointer to the fact that a plant definitely changes its pigments depending upon the color of the light which it is getting. The Rotala HRA red is not getting enough light, so it is not growing. So because the Rotala Makaranda green in front has grown faster and it is shading it. So during the plant positioning also you need to be careful about which is the first growing plant and which is the slow growing plant so that each gets an equal opportunity to grow. Now what we will do is that we will trim the Rotala Makaranda green so that the HRS starts getting light and starts growing. Uh, I have mentioned this before, never allow the you know, plants to reach at the surface, you must trim before that. Otherwise, the flow gets hampered and algae will come. Above water, the plants show a different property. Under water, it shows a different property. It, it's so clear with this uh, Rotala, you know, uh, Walichi. See, this is the under uh, above water uh, leaf, you know, exposed, okay, uh, the immersed leaves, okay, which is green. And you see from green under water how it has transformed into red. There is a, you know, there is a, there is a big play happening here. Uh, there is a big chemistry happening here. Uh, maybe uh, in some other video we will cover that why this transformation happens. Okay, a transformation, uh, the reason behind this transformation. But we just wanted to document it and show it to our viewers. Thank you.